اهلا بكم مشاهدينا الكرام الى حلقه جديده من برنامج ضيفنا، ضيفنا يتزامن مع الحدث الذي اقيم بالعاصمه القطريه الدوحه وهو المحطه الثانيه من كاس العالم للسباحه في المجرى القصير 25 مترا، ضيفنا هو احد اعمده الاتحاد الدولي للسباحه وهو السيد كورنيل ماركو ليسكو المدير التنفيذي للاتحاد الدولي للسباحه، مرحبا بك. السلام عليكم. لو تعرفنا اولا بتجربتك وايضا بمهامك صلب الاتحاد الدولي للسباحه. Well, first of all I have been an athlete. I have played in two Olympic Games, water polo, 60-64, long time ago. And from uh, 80s we start to have a permanent office and headquarter. And since, since that moment I am uh, I am with uh, with Fina. This is my career, my profession. I am. Uh, I finished the University of Sport, and I learn every day because you know this activity every day you learn something. الدوحة إذا احتضنت المحطة الثانية من كأس العالم للسباحة فينا المجرى القصير 25 مترا. كيف رأيتم التنظيم أولا؟ 2012 is the first edition when we have a Middle East cluster made by Dubai, Qatar and Doha. And I have to say that the most competition are very well organized, high, sta high, high standard organization, television coverage, the athletes are happy, accommodation, good results. And the venue, you see where we are, two excellent aquatic centers. سيد ماركوليسكو دائما تقولون ان قطر شريك مهم للاتحاد الدولي للسباحه فينا فيما تتمثل هذه الشراكه المين ايشو اوف فينا كونستيتوشن از تو ديفلوب اكواتيك اول اوفر ذا وورلد اند وي ستارت ويز قطر اند ويز قطر سويمينغ اسوسيشن قطر اولمبيك كوميتي ا لونج كولابوريشن وي هاف اورجانايز ايفنتس هير ان ذا باست اند وي هاف ان ذا فيوتشر بيساي ذا سويمينغ وورلد كاب اورجانايزينغ هير the FINA World Swimming Championships in 2014 together with the World FINA Aquatic Convention. Convention which put together national federation and business around the aquatic sport. What is the idea of this country in Qatar and FINA in the world of the world of 2009? We are going to end this place من كأس العالم للسباحة في المجرى القصير وهناك أيضا حدث منتظر وهو بطولة العالم للسباحة عام 2014. I think it's not a secret for anybody even for the world of sport that Qatar it's a world sport destination. A lot of sport competition are organized here. Everybody are always just classify this like excellent events and it's very important to take advantage of the fantastic aquatic center. And also, I can say the professionality of people working in our aquatic sport. مجمع حمد الدولي للرياضات المائية الذي استضاف الجولة الثانية من هذا الحدث الخاص بالسباحة. ما رأيكم في هذه المنشأة ومميزاتها أيضا؟ I discovered this facility first time in 2006 with the occasion of the Asian Games, which was a fantastic event. And from that moment, I think. with all around this venue and also with uh, all other facilities around. It's an excellent, excellent, I think, uh, facilities where you can develop not only the competition, but you can develop activities which are beneficial for the Qatari people. كيف ينظر الاتحاد الدولي لجولات كأس العالم التي تقام في الخليج وتحديدا بالدوحة وأيضا دبي؟ هل هناك فرق بينها وبين الجولات التي تقام في مدن أخرى؟ We we have our goal to develop aquatic in the Middle East. Middle East is an excellent developing partner for us, and for that reason, the, this competition here are the opportunity to bring the great star like you have here the Olympic champions like Leclos or Van der Burg, which they are our new stars today coming. Competing together with Qatari swimmer, competing together with the golf swimmers, all the country in this area. 
And this is probably one of the most important issues, the development of aquatic sports. في ظل المعطيات التي تحدثت عنها كيف ترى مستقبل السباحة في قطر وما هو تقييمكم لنتائج السباحين القطريين في هذه الجولة من كأس العالم؟ I think no longer time ago you organized here the Arab Games and you will see that Qatari swimmer they are improving and I think with the World Cup now having an every every year event. It's a great opportunity to give international events to this category. I think that the, the, you will see the, the fruits of this collaboration coming soon. Because the people like swimming, it's important. It's not only for the competition, but it's a sport for all. ضمن منافسات كأس العالم للسباحة، هل ترى أن الفاصل الزمني بين الجولات يعد كافيا لضمان تنظيم جيد من جهة؟ ولضمان ايضا مستوى تنافسي كبير من قبل الابطال. We have arrived with the World Cup at the highest number of competition eight in three clusters. We cannot go more than that. The difficulty it is that today the world sport calendar is so busy and the planning of coaches also is running with the most important competition. At the beginning of the year is preparation. Middle of the year, they have all national, continental, or world events. For that reason, we are still working in this direction with the with the coaches commission in FINA and technical committee, and we are going to meet now in Istanbul in December with occasion of all swimming championships, and finalize the schedule for next coming years. Probably going to the 50 meter pool, probably staying in 25 meter pool, or separating the clusters. ماذا عن الحضور الجماهيري في هذه الجوله من كاس العالم؟ Well, I see a lot of young people and it's fantastic. Last night I took a picture of all the stands to show to everybody where I'm going. Look how many people they were in Qatar. I think we have even this morning a lot of young people here and this is the benefit for the new generation to see Qatari swimming. They are like to also for sure to swim themselves tomorrow and that is the benefit. هذا الحدث بالذات اصبح مهما للغايه بالنسبه لعدد من النجوم سواء السباحين او السباحات، اكبر دليل على ذلك حضور نسبه مهمه من ابطال اولمبيين من اصحاب ايضا اصحاب ارقام قياسيه عالميه، كيف يمكن تفسير هذا المعطى؟ Outside of the FINA World Championships which is held every year the, the short course or long course and the Olympics, this is the only swimming